Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to configure management IP address on a Cisco switch. Okay, so this IP address is necessary if you want to access your uh, switch remotely. So first of all, for us to be able to configure a management IP address on a Cisco switch, we need to assign an IP address to the VLAN interface. So commonly VLAN 1 by default. Now this allows you to manage the switch remotely via protocols like SSH or maybe Telnet, okay? But I will recommend SSH because SSH is a secure way of accessing your device remotely. So before we continue, if you like the kind of video I'm dropping on this channel and you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit on the subscription button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I drop a new video. And if you have watched any of my video and you learned something from it, please give that video a like. Let's continue. So first of all, you need to access the switch, okay? So let me zoom out to this switch a little bit. So log into the switch using a console cable and the terminal software. Okay, so uh, remember I've always uh, talked about this in most of my videos. So what you need to do is to get your laptop. Remember we are emulating a real life uh, scenario. Get your laptop, get your switch, okay? get a console cable connect it to the rs232 of your laptop also connect it to the console port of your switch okay so open up your laptop run the software putty or teratem so once you are done with your connection come to desktop click on terminal so once you run that uh, putty software you're going to see an interface this way all right then once you choose the com port from uh, your system then you can click on OK. Okay, so once you click on OK, you are going to be accessing the uh, switch interface. All right. So from the user exit mode, we are going to enter uh, the command enable to go to the privilege exit mode. So for us to be able to do configuration here, we're going to enter the global configuration mode. Please, if you don't know uh, some of these uh, basic configurations on a Cisco switch, check the description below. I'm going to be dropping a link of the video on these uh, configurations okay so i will not be explaining much on this here so enter so we are going to be assigning this to the vlan 1 interface okay so vlan 1 sorry let's say interface vlan 1 okay so ip address So you can give it an IP address from the range of IP address you have uh, in your network design, okay? So we can say maybe 172.16.1 uh, okay? So 255.255.0.0, class B, right? Enter. So to turn on the status of this port, we're going to use no shutdown. Enter. So to ensure that this uh, VLAN is active, uh, we're going to configure a switch port to, to be on that VLAN, okay? So we can uh, do something like uh, interface, uh, fast Ethernet, let's say uh, zero slash one. So you can choose any interface on your switch at all, okay? Enter, so switch port mode, access okay now switch uh switch port access vlan one so we are done so the next thing we need to do here is to configure the uh default gateway so uh this is not necessary in this uh in this management ip configuration but in case your switch needs to communicate outside its subnet okay or outside its network you need this default gateway, all right? So uh, we're going to come back to uh, a Z, come back to this global configuration mode. So we're using this command, IP default gateway, okay? So you can give it any gateway at all. So we can say, uh, so let's give it the, the gateway, the IP address, sorry, we gave to the uh, management interface. 
so 172.16.1.2 right i believe is that so once you are done sorry let me expand this so once you are done enter okay so let's verify this configuration so exit uh show sorry yeah show running configuration enter so let's uh concentrate on the configuration we did so if we come down here we we'll see that interface vlan one now has this ip address okay 172.16.1.1 and also we have this gateway 172.16.1.2 we can also use this command show ip interface brief okay so that we can see the uh interface which is this villain one and also the ip address and also we can see that the status is up okay status is up and remember we assign this uh uh this vlan to interface uh facet and it's zero slash one all right so let's save our configuration so you can use uh, any of the saving method but i'm going to use a uh, copy uh, copy so copy running startup config enter so we are done so but then remember before this management ip address can take effect remotely you must configure ssh on your switch okay so either on your switch or maybe on your cisco router so once you do that configuration you are going to come back to you are going to uh, get a system okay so open up the system now run that particular software putty or teratum whichever one you have then input uh okay let me just let me just show you demonstration please i'm not going to be doing i'm not going to be doing uh ssh configuration in this video try and watch my next video i'll try and do that ssh configuration so if i do that ssh configuration i'm going to be assessing uh a device remotely and you'll see how it work okay so once you do that in real life uh scenario this is the putty software so once you run it you are going to input you are going to input uh excuse me why did this go off okay so once you run it you are going to uh select uh you're going to select ssh then input that management ip address here okay so you can either input the management ip address here or the username you configured on that switch in this particular uh, interface okay so the management ip address will be inputted here then you select your your port number for ssh which is 22 then once you click on open it's going to uh, automatically give you access to that switch all right so like i said i'll be making ssh uh video very soon okay if not my next video all right so uh if you are using the simulator this is what you will do so come down to telnet as uh, through ssh here click on it then input the ip address here then input the username you configured while you are running the ssh configuration here also once you do connect you're going to connect to your switch remotely okay okay guys please don't miss out my sss video you're going to learn a lot on how you can configure ssh and also uh, connect your system remotely using the management ip address you configured on your switch or maybe on your router thank you guys so that'll be all for this video please if you like the kind of content i'm dropping on this channel and you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please hit on the subscription button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever i drop a new video and also if you have watched any of my video and learned something from it please give that video a like thank you guys and see you in my next video